there are so many reasons why people are moving to Georgia. It's beautiful. The cost of living is wonderful here when compared to lots of other places. There's down home Southern hospitality, but until you truly get here, you really do not, you don't know what it's like. You really need to know these things before you move here. So I'm gonna share with you seven facts about living in Grovetown, Georgia to basically see if you can truly handle what it's like to live in the South. So stay tuned to learn what it's like to live in Grovetown, Georgia and the facts you may not know about living here and all of that is coming up just for you right after this. Welcome to the original Living in Augusta, Georgia channel. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to learn everything about what it's like to live, work, play, and invest in Augusta, Georgia, then definitely subscribe to the channel. Click the bell to be notified every time we upload video. Now, really, as a relocation specialist, I get the opportunity to work with people moving from all over the world. And when people are relocating to the, here to the area, they're noticing Grovetown, Georgia is really different from where they're accustomed to. So I'm not from here either. I moved to the Grovetown area back in 2015. And as a transplant, I'm gonna share with you seven reasons why you may not wanna move to Grovetown. And trust me, stay until the end because the last one is one of our biggest concerns that people have. One thing you need to know about the Grovetown, Georgia area before you relocate is the culture. The culture is very, very different than other parts of the world. Well, it's different from where I came from. So coming from the Chicagoland area where it's a much faster urban lifestyle, here in Grovetown, even though Grovetown is growing, it's a much slower pace compared to lots of other cities throughout the nation. Here we have several community events and outdoor activities. We really savor the moment. So even like when you go to the restaurants and the stores, let me warn you, know that it is a much slower pace. So if you're standing in line, it, like say for instance up north, if you're standing in line and there's only a couple registers on, open, if there are people in line, then they're gonna open another line for you. But that is not necessarily the case here. So you cannot get frustrated. It's a slower lifestyle because you're not gonna rush people here. So if you're okay, with being comfortable with seizing the moment with taking your time then you may be a good fit but if on the other hand if you get so if you're so accustomed to rushing and you've developed the habits of always being on the go with lots of fast activities and a super busy lifestyle then you may want to really reconsider moving to the grovetown georgia area so next on the list is entertainment options here in Grovetown, Georgia, or should I say lack of entertainment options in Grovetown? I guess the best way to say it is our entertainment options here in Grovetown are very limited. So if you want regular entertainment like movies or theater, if you want to catch a show, for now you have to go outside of Grovetown to Evans or to Augusta. There are, however, a nice amount of parks in Grovetown. So I'm right now at Patriots Park that has an abundance of sports available for the family. We've got basketball basketball, football, volleyball, racquetball courts, batting cages. We have tennis courts, disc golf courts, a multi-purpose room that you can rent, also soccer and football fields. So all of that is available for those within the community. Of course, it's available for a fee if you would like to use the facilities inside, but the facilities outside, of course, are available for you. Now for Grovetown, there's what I like to call seasonal entertainment because this is entertainment that comes on a seasonal basis. So this is entertainment that comes specifically for the county. It's not always here, but when it comes, it is a big deal. And one of those is the county fair. So I'm right now on the fairgrounds in Grovetown, which is where the county fair comes. The county fair is basically, it's a big carnival. They have rides, they have food, petting zoos, also shows. The type of shows they have is like a demolition derby. They have pig racing. They have a human cannonball. I mean, you have people coming from all over. That is a big deal here. So for that type of entertainment, we've got the spring fair, the fall fair. We've got Miss Columbia County pageant. So several outdoor activities involving entertainment and all of that happens right here on the county fairgrounds in Grovetown. So the next one that I wanna to bring to your attention are the people. So the people here, they are who they are. So if you're coming from an area and you wanna force your mindset, your habits, your beliefs on people, if you come from an area where it's really normal to be opinionated and very aggressive, 
that is not going to go over well here because some areas it's acceptable throughout the nation, but not really here. So of course, not everyone thinks the same here. And of course we have different opinions and values, but they really respect one another's values and differences here. And that's okay. And we still get along. So as long as you're not coming in trying to change people's opinions, don't come in trying to make it seem like your way is the only way. Most people are wrong and you're always right. Then there are other places where that's okay. But that mindset is not acceptable here. It is not common here. We're in the South. So overall, people are very friendly. People are not nearly as confrontational here as in other areas. But if you come to people the wrong way around here, you're gonna get what I like to call a nice, nasty response. And just be nice to people and you'll be fine here. But before we go to the next one, if you like this content, subscribe to the channel, press the bell to be notified when I upload videos so you don't miss out. So now on to the next one, which is pollen. So the next one is pollen. So in April, we have a very high pollen count. You'll literally see pollen like floating in the air. So if you're allergic to pollen from trees, like oak, pine, cedar, Bermuda grass, or even ragweed, be prepared because you may end up having a reaction and you may get used to it or you may need to just medicate during those times because say for instance my allergies my allergies were worse in illinois than here and i've heard of people here preparing for the allergy season taking the over-counter medicine the nasal uh, medicine the allergy shot to get ready for the season before it even begins so here also there's a lot of construction going on so the construction can cause allergic reactions that can really irritate some, but pollen is usually the biggest issue for most people. You'll literally see the yellow pollen covering the cars, the sidewalks, but it's just for a few weeks and so in April. So after that, it's gone. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to deal with it. So have your medicine just carried around with you. For me, sometimes I'll carry my medicine around with me during that time, just, just in case I have a reaction and just to make sure I'm prepared. So next on the list is the educational system. The schools here in Grovetown are served by Columbia County School District. In this school district, they actually have a great leadership program for our youth. It's called Youth Leadership Columbia County, which is a program that it educates through experience and it encourages the young leaders in the schools to really be active in the community. So in this program, they get mentors in the community assigned to them. They're able to really get started getting experience and making connections with people within the community that's really gonna be instrumental and helpful for their careers after high school. So there's also the high school work study program where local businesses are partnered with the high school to give students opportunities they otherwise may not ever have. So when you look at greatschools.org, the schools and the students in Grovetown are making average academic progress compared to other students in the state and for the majority of the schools the test scores are above the state average so if you're one who prefers private schools for your students we also have private schools in the Grovetown area as well next one of the biggest things is there are a lot of military personnel in the area so Grovetown is where Fort Eisenhower formerly Fort Gordon the military base is located and Grovetown is literally the closest area to the base because it's in Grovetown so that may take some getting used to for you. Our soldiers, some of them live in the barracks on the base, but some of them have families and they live in the communities where the civilians live. So I can safely say that most of the neighborhoods in Grovetown and in the area here, they're gonna have a presence of military there. So if they're military, normally in a couple of years, they're gonna be moving to another location. So that may take some getting used to for you and your family. So change of neighbors. So you and your children will meet friends, you'll make friends, and more than likely those friends, if they're military, they're gonna be moving out of the area sooner or later. So if you buy a house here, literally in the next few years, houses in your block or on your neighborhood, in your community, they're gonna come on the market and off the market. That's something that's normal here because we are in an area where it's a military area. So the next one on the list is the biggest concern that a lot of people have been waiting for and a lot of people complain about here in the Grovetown, Georgia area, and that is the heavy traffic in Grovetown. So in Grovetown, the good thing is that it's conveniently located right off of I-20, and the bad thing is that it's conveniently located <laughs> right off of I-20. So you get the traffic that's associated with the expressway, and it's particularly congested, of course, in the mornings and in the afternoons, 
So for this area, it may not be congested to those that are moving from larger cities, but those who are from the Augusta, Georgia area who have been here for several years, they've seen the traffic uh, delays increase, they've seen the longer commutes, it's really a big thing for them. So not only is there construction with the traffic, we've got new neighborhoods constantly being developed here because there's such a big demand on housing here and they're constantly building and keeping up with the growing demand here is what they're constantly trying to do. So overall, it's a wonderful place to live. But for those who have lived here for several years, they've experienced lots of changes because they're widening the roads, they're constantly building, they're constantly expanding, and the locals are constantly complaining about the process as it's happening. But for me, for instance, as a transplant like myself, who's from the Chicagoland area, this traffic cannot compare to what I was accustomed to there. So that may be the same thing for you, but after being here for a while, I will tell you that you'll get accustomed to the traffic flow here. And as we have a lot of construction, you may find yourself complaining about the traffic too. But when I think back to Illinois compared to what I had to deal with there, this traffic is really, it's an easy breeze. It can't even compare. And to give you an idea, the average commute time here in Grove Town is about 25 minutes. So literally like I had to travel about an hour, an hour and a half, just to get downtown when I lived in Chicago. So it really can't compare to a lot of the larger cities that's throughout the nation. So one of the things we're really experiencing here are growing pains. I mean, that's normal. So here, that's something you're gonna need to expect when moving to the area. You're gonna experience seeing roads expand. You're gonna see growth in the area. Honestly, it's all a matter of perspective. So those are the seven reasons you may not want to move to Grovetown. But then again, those may be the seven reasons that you may really want to move to Grovetown. So comment down below, what are one of the things that would have caused a problem for you? And comment down below, let me know what are some of the things you actually like about the area? What are you excited to experience when you relocate to the Augusta, Georgia, Grovetown area? And when it comes to moving here, there are so many neighborhoods, lots of communities and areas that you haven't even heard of yet that we've yet to show you. So once you give us a call, you can schedule a Zoom. We love to hear about your lifestyle and what you like and things that you don't like. Then we can help connect you with the area that's really gonna be the best fit for you. But we can't help you unless you call. You gotta reach out, give us a call. Give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email. Better yet, there's a link down below in the comments. Click on the link. Schedule Zoom, let's connect. I like to hear about your plans, relocating here, how we can assist you and make that process much smoother for you as you prepare for your big move. My contact information is on the screen. And once again, I'm Delrisa Rollison, Augusta Certified Relocation Specialist, and see you in the next video.